Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can create dynamic dimension within Tableau. So what dynamic dimension is, it's basically if I take any dimension from this dimension section like uh, product subcategories to let's say rows and uh, sum of sales to let's say on the columns then I get a I get this chart but on the runtime let's say I want to give a flexibility to my end user where they can change these categories to something else based on some sort of a filter then uh, how we can do that is what I'm gonna show you in this video I'm using the samples to superstore data which comes by default with the tablet so it should be easy to access for you and uh, what I'll do is uh, I will create first of all one parameter so create uh, parameter and parameter name is uh, let's say dynamic or maybe select a dimension just to be more uh, user friendly so I want string and I want list and uh, let's say I want these categories uh, let's say category and uh, product not product but sub category so this name does not have to be same as this because uh, after this to handle these categories we will create a calculated field and there you know it should match with this but when you are creating this list you can create it more user friendly if you like because uh, this is for an end user selection but all the logic handling we will do it in a separate calculated field so right now I am just entering what is mentioned over here but it's not restricted you can enter a more user friendly name if you want so product name and after that I should be okay and select a dimension is here now but if I select nothing will happen because you need to handle this selection and to handle the selection let's create a calculated field and uh, let's create products dimension because these are all products related dimension and we will use case case is uh, select a dimension when um, when you have category uh, when you have category then uh, you have uh, category when you have uh, sub category then you have sub category then you have I think that's how I have written it over there then you have product product name and then end it and just it will create an issue because I need to specify the else yeah so click apply ok and remove this click over here on the product dimension so right now we have the subcategory as a selection and you are getting a subcategory over here and if I change it to category now my category is coming and if I want product name so here my product names are coming so this way you can add more and more dimensions as per your needs from the dimension section over here and uh, make it dynamic so that your end user is having the flexibility if if the person is more of an analyst or more from the perspective where he or she will need to deep dive into the data by looking at different dimensions and they are not very much aware about how the functioning of Tableau really works in the back end then you can give this easy interface where user will find it very very useful and interactive so that's pretty much it uh, for this video and I will meet you in the new video some new topic